Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how the TCP through a handshake takes place. And the easiest way to demonstrate this is through an, an, an NMAP scan called the TCP Connect scan. And the reason for this is because it actually involves completing the entire TCP through a handshake. Uh, and uh, in this particular case, what, what happens is the you have your client and the server or the host and the target and uh, the, the host uh, essentially initiates the connection through sending a SYN packet. And then there is a uh, SYN ACK response from the server or from the target. And then the server or the client, sorry, actually acknowledges this and the connection is established. However, with the TCP connect scan, the connection is then reset because you're pretty much only using this with NMAP uh, to determine if a port is open or the port is closed. And this is done by analyzing the results. All right, so uh, to demonstrate this, I'm gonna be using Wireshark and my Nmap scan is gonna be quite simple. It's gonna be ST, that is the Nmap uh, TCP connect scan. And this will be uh, explained in a later video. Uh, for now, let's just focus on, uh, on taking a look at uh, how the three-way handshake takes place uh, exactly. So I will be targeting my Windows 2008 server. So 192.168.1.38 is the IP address. And it's currently on the local network. Now, before I do that, of course, I need to start up Wireshark. And I'll open that up. And um, I'll open up my interface, which is Ethernet 0. And I'll just hit Enter. All right. And now that that has begun, we'll just wait for this to 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 get or to capture a few more packets here before we can start analyzing all of the requests and the various responses. All right, so I'll go right on to the top here and um, I think that's enough. So there we are, so I'll stop that and it's the, the scan was complete and we got the results and that's why I stopped right at the top. Is This is where you can actually see the three-way handshake taking place. All right, so you can see it right over here. We have the source, uh, and we have the destination IP address. Uh, and again, we look for the initial SYN, uh, which is sent right over here from my Kali IP, which is 192.168.1.51. And then that is sent to the Windows server. So we send a SYN request. We also send another one to different ports. In this case, we're sending it to port 443. And we get a SYN ACK response from the server, from the Windows server. And uh, finally, we have an ACK being sent back from Kali. And uh, you can see we then from Kali, the connection is then reset as you as you can see right over here. So we have our SYN and then we have our SYN ACK and then ACK and then RST for reset. So it's fairly easy to understand uh, how the requests are handled. And again, we have uh, various other requests and responses here or three way handshakes that have been established based on any particular port. So we can actually determine directly from here what ports are open. So if we get a response, then we know that that port is open. In this case, we know that port 8080 is open. Uh, we get an acknowledgement uh, from port 21, and that tells us indeed that um, that there is a uh, that port 21 is open. And uh, you can keep on following the stream. And this is essentially how Nmap comes to conclusions about the results. So again, it analyzes the traffic and it analyzes the responses, and then based on the responses, uh, the responses it's able to tell if the, the port is open or closed. And with UDP, this changes slightly because the requests and the responses are different. So for example, with UDP, um, if I, I can actually demonstrate this to you. So what I'll do is I'll start a new connection and I will just halt that there. Uh, sorry, because I want to start a new one. And uh, we'll clear this out and we'll just say nmap su and uh, we can then specify an IP address. Now I don't have any devices or computers that are running any DNS services, uh, sorry, any uh, UDP services and DNS is one of them. Um, so in, in this case with uh, with UDP, since it is, a, it is a connectionless protocol, there is no handshake or three-way handshake for that matter. And what happens is you have uh, your UDP request being sent and then the response, if the port is open, uh, there usually isn't any response from the target or from the server. If the port is closed, um, you will get an ICMP echo. Um, you'll get an ICMP uh, response telling you that the port is closed or the the host is unreachable. So this is usually uh, ICMP echo co uh, ICMP code three. So again, we can actually display this. So let me just start the capture now, and we'll start the UDP scan here. And uh, there we are. So uh, I'll just wait for the first UDP and you can see we have the responses. So I'll stop the scan now because that's going to take a while. 
and I will stop the capture here. So let me explain what's going on with UDP. As I said, we're essentially sending requests. You can see, uh, I'm, uh, I, you, you can actually start seeing the first request that we're sending UDP requests to the target. And um, we finally get a response here telling us ICMP destination and reachable. That means that that port is, uh, that port is closed. If there isn't a, res a response, however, that means that the port is open. All right, so that is how the TCP three-way handshake works and how UDP uh, connections work. And a great way of understanding this is by visualizing it in Wireshark. And uh, hopefully you guys can, uh, can actually recreate this and go through it. It's actually quite interesting to see how various NMAP scans are conducted and based on the responses, how NMAP is actually able to come to conclusion about various results. That being said, that's going to be it for this video and I'll be seeing you in the next video.